it just feels so weird. <laughs> so obviously I am in an empty room. So this is my filming room that I was filming in like, you know, last week, the last video you probably saw me was in this room, but I'd been hinting at a big secret that we have. And the secret is that we finally got a separate studio workspace for both me and my husband to work out of. And you guys, this has been something that A, we've tossed around the idea of forever. And B, I finally, I always say A and then I never have a B. I finally have a B. And B, oh wait, what was A? Oh, that we, <laughs> but B is that I finally remembered that it's one of the most important steps I've taken for my own mental health. If you've ever worked from home, and I know a lot more people have in the past year, it can be incredible. And this is not me complaining. I love my job and I love working from home but there are obvious downsides to it. It can be really difficult to separate your own life from work and then throw on top of it the fact that my job right now in my life is YouTube and some of it is vlogging like this video, some of it is like sit down videos about makeup, but it can be really hard, you know, sharing stuff on social media to find that line between your own personal life and what you're willing to share on social media. And working from home complicates that times 10. So we started kind of looking for it because we tossed around the idea of moving, but we love this house and we really didn't wanna move, but we also knew we wanted to have future children and we were using up the last bit of space in this house that could be bedrooms. And this is not a decision we took lightly. In fact, I was the one dragging my feet. So all of that to say, this was a huge decision for us. And the nice thing is that, you know, it's a lease. It's not something that we've like bought this place. And so it gives us an out. If we try this for a year and decide, you know, this isn't working. And that gives us this year to really kind of get our feet wet and see if we like having the separate space. We'll see. All I know is I'm so excited. And I've been so excited to share it with you guys. So you're going to see it today. I've also been filming a ton of footage of us moving our stuff there over the past week or two. So you're going to see that in today's vlog as well. I also want to take a second to thank today's video sponsor, which is Thrive Market. I got a bunch of groceries from them and I just got my order in and I want to share it with you guys this morning. I'm headed to our workspace here in a little bit. And so some of the groceries I ordered from Thrive are actually going to go with me there. So I want to share that with you guys, but also it's so bittersweet. Like I loved filming in this room, but the lighting in here is awfully similar to the lighting in the workspace. Actually, the lighting in the workspace might be even better because we have like a lot more windows. So I am so excited to be able to film in natural light. Like this is me just sitting in front of the window in this office. And I just feel like natural lighting cannot be beat. It cannot, it is king. It is the best lighting in the world. So I'm excited to hopefully be able to use that way more often. Okay, we need a refill on our coffee. And by refill, I mean also a heat up because it's definitely cold as it always is. <laughs> Cheers. The day I'm filming this, we're still watching my sister, sweet puppy Nala. Hi, sweetie. Also, it is a beautifully rainy day here right now. Alrighty, so as I mentioned, this portion of the video is very kindly sponsored by Thrive Market. I just got my order, just opened it up. I ordered a lot this time, but like I said, some of it is gonna go with me to the workspace. So we have like snacks and stuff there too. So I mentioned it in my May favorites video, but I have my favorite snack ever. I just ordered another one of, and they are so good. I'm excited to share with you guys. So if you've never heard of Thrive Market, it is an online membership-based marketplace where you can order any groceries you need, whether it's organic, non-GMO, gluten-free, paleo, they have something for everyone and they have so many different choices but not only food they also sell beauty items pet items they literally sell so much you guys one thing i love about thrive market is you get members only prices so you save a ton of money off of retail prices on this order alone it's insane i saved 66 dollars. all right i won't make you wait any longer this is my freaking favorite this pipcorn heirloom cheese balls listen if you like cheetos these taste exactly like them but they're a little bit healthier and you guys they are my new favorite snack they're so good if it wasn't so early in the morning i'd be mowing on these right now also some plantain chips these are so good and honestly i forgot they existed <laughs> i'd ordered them maybe like six or seven months ago so when i saw them on thrive market i was like yup add to cart <laughs> all right since i have the biggest sweet tooth in the world these lily dark chocolate peanut butter cups these are definitely a dark chocolate it's like 70% like cocoa, but they are so good. We like to take these and put them in the freezer because, oh, them frozen out of this world. I have to admit that I was hungry when I was shopping for all this, so I got a lot of snacks. These tortilla chips, I love the late July brand. We've tried a lot from them, and I think we've liked everything we've tried, but tortilla chips and salsa, especially like mango peach salsa, 
is one of my favorite snacks in the world. So excited to have these. I actually got two of these. I get them every time. You already know it's the skinny dipped almonds, dark chocolate, peanut butter. These are the best. We've tried, I think, all of the skinny dipped almonds that they sell and the dark chocolate peanut butter are far and away the best ones. So favorite quick dinner, I got the Rayo's marinara sauce. This is good on pasta. It's good just as marinara sauce. It's also really good with grilled cheese. Like instead of tomato soup, heating this up. Oh my gosh. And then I also got the Thrive Market Organic Fusilli. Am I saying that right? Pasta, but it's gluten-free. It's got red lentil and quinoa pasta. This is a kind of an odd texture. Like it's not exactly like a muffin, but I really liked it. It's the Birchbender's muffin a la cup, which is just nice. You just add water and microwave it. So it's a nice quick breakfast. So I'm excited to try this. This is the Califia Farms Better Half Coconut Cream and Almond Milk. It is dairy-free half and half, basically. I've never tried it. I love regular half and half. I drink a lot of almond milk myself. I'm not lactose intolerant. I think I'm just sensitive to it. So I can have little amounts, but like a full glass of real milk will absolutely like kill my stomach. So I don't mind regular half and half, but I'm always interested in trying different ones. So I'm excited to give that a try. So orders over $49 ship for free. So my husband and I will just add things to our Thrive Market cart on their app. And once we hit that threshold is usually around when we'll wrap it up and go ahead and check out. And I love that they use carbon neutral shipping from their zero waste warehouse. I think that's so awesome. So got some cheddar bunnies for my daughter. She loves these. We always, always, always get coffee from them. So this is their organic whole bean coffee, the Viennese blend. So they sell doggy stuff too. So I got a couple of treats for Pinocchio. This is the super smart Hardy's little training treats. We're not training him, but it's kind of nice to have smaller treat options from time to time too. And then also the Castor and Pollux organics, organic little dog cookies. So I, well, I know he'll be excited about that. So with Thrive Market, you can choose which membership model would work best for you. They have a monthly one and they also have the annual one. And honestly, the annual one breaks down to be cheaper. It breaks down to like $5 a month. And since we place at least one order a month, sometimes more, it definitely is worth it. But the nice thing is with the annual membership, you can try it for 30 days risk-free. Another thing I love about Thrive and why I love working with them is their initiative called Thrive Gives, where for every paying membership, they offer a free membership to a family in need. I think that's really, really cool. So so if you are interested in trying out Thrive Market, now is a really great time to join. If you join right now with the link in the description box, you can get 25% off your first order, which is a really nice chunk off, and you get a free gift. And the free gifts they usually offer are like actually really good free gifts. I really think you guys are gonna love Thrive Market as much as we do. We've been using it for, honestly, I think now it's gonna be going on two years pretty soon. We absolutely love it. And thank you again, Thrive Market, for sponsoring this portion of the video. So just a quick clip of the makeup I'm wearing. If you were curious, I am wearing this from the makeup by Mario Little Quad, and then some from his mats thing. I'm wearing this Guerlain foundation that I use sparingly because I don't, it's so expensive, but I really do, do like it. My Makeup Forever little cream, little quad here for like a contour blush. I'm using the Maybelline highlight though, just kind of skimming through. And then on my lips is the Tower 28 gloss and cashew that I'm loving. I've got the Maybelline City Bronzer I kind of put on top of that, but that's just kind of a glimpse at what I'm wearing today if you were curious. Hi, sweet Pinocchio boy. Oh, he said, not Nala. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, I just let the doggies out. So we have some stuff we're gonna be bringing with us to the workspace and we're dropping my sweet daughter Genevieve off at my parents' house so we can have a really good work day. But as I mentioned, I took some vlog footage from the past week of us moving stuff in and getting things built and organized and stuff. So we are gonna go back in time together right now and you're gonna see all of that footage from Jesse past. And then I'll meet you back in the present day on the other side. How's that sound? <laughs> I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> So we started moving some stuff over. I need to pack all of this up now. I'm actually gonna have a different desk where we're going. Um, this one my husband's gonna have because it's a little too big for what I need. He has three screens. I am excited, but a little like feeling a little bit bittersweet because I've loved filming in this room, but I know this move is gonna be exactly what we need to do our jobs even better. Um, and then it frees up space in our house for hopefully future children. Hi, sweetie. Oh, what a good girl. So what I need to do right now is get all of this packed up because this is going to go over today, as I said. So I think what I'm going to do just to make it easier on myself when I'm unpacking it next week, I think the easiest thing will be to bag each drawer up separately and then put them all together like in our laundry basket so I can just carry them right over. Well, biggest dumb moment of the day. I was like, they're already in containers for the most part, Jessica. So I just grabbed this tote we've been kind of using to bring things back and forth. 
and I'm just gonna put them in there and kind of carry it that way. All right, so it all fit and with some extra room. So this is fantastic. I have already previously packed any like backups, like PR makeup I'd gotten, things like that. So this is great and nothing is super squished. So I'm not too worried. I have some lighter stuff on top. All right, so we are here. We have a lot of work to do today and tomorrow. The day I'm filming this right now is a Saturday. We're gonna be back tomorrow to kind of actually build some of this but let me show you what we're working with here in the room I've, i'll be filming in i love that this has like these floor to ceiling windows in here and i've got a lot to put together still um well really my husband's going to tyler this is like a couch type thing it's this really pretty like kind of greenish blue color but then you see familiar pieces like that and then i did get this is the stand-up desk i was talking about that's a little bit smaller also from ikea and this is this ikea piece that this is as high as it goes. And the idea is that you can like lean on it while you're standing and then you can lower it and actually like sit on it too. So this won't be my standalone, like only chair for editing and stuff. And then this is actually going to be kind of a desk situation. That's kind of lightweight again from Ikea that I liked because I can film on it, move it around the room, depending on which direction I want the camera to face but it'll still be lightweight enough for me to physically move it myself. I'm excited to have an actual designated table for that. I really haven't had that in like a couple years of filming. So it'll be nice to actually have in there a couple drawers in here. They're really thin, you can't fit much in them, but to put all of the things that I use all of the time when I'm filming, I just, I am ecstatic and I'm really digging this like lighter colored wood. Similar to that, Tyler's been making, we've got Daniel Tiger playing. Tyler's been making trips back and forth from our house with some of the new furniture we got, some of our old furniture all day long. So we don't own a truck. So we were borrowing his brother's truck. So he's running that back to his brother right now. And then he's going to come back and we're going to try to get a, the last few things done. I actually stopped at the grocery store today with Gigi and got some, just some groceries to have here. Things that we use all of the time. We're obviously gonna be making like lunches here when we're working. So wanted to make sure we had like sandwich stuff and things like that, but also coffee stuff, tea. So I think we're all good there, which is a good feeling. So that's where we're at. The mermaids don't fit in the slime? All right, I'm dealing with a slime and mermaid crisis with this sweet girl that desperately needs a nap. So uh, that's where we're at for today. <laughs> All right, it is the next day, Sunday, and we've got, I <laughs> however I packed my makeup earlier, it has changed five times, but uh, I've got all my filming equipment broken down. And so these things we're gonna kind of carefully bring over. I've got my lamps that I want over. So we're gonna see how we can kind of fit these into the, the car. But it's so crazy to see this room so empty. <laughs> so our goals for today are to get these last bits over there and then start to build some of the furniture and stuff that we haven't built yet. Start to kind of organize. And I, tomorrow, absolutely during like our work hours while we have something watching Gigi, I absolutely have to edit. So I still need to work. So today I need to make sure that my desk situation is at least hooked up and ready to go so that I can at least get that done tomorrow and then probably continue unpacking uh, Monday or the rest of that day. So fingers are crossed, we can get a decent amount done. We will see. Alrighty, we are getting somewhere. I finally got this stuff hooked up with what I need. For now, I have this rolly drawer I've used for a long time and I used to use it when I was filming. I used to, I mean like literally as of last week. But now that I have this more desk-like thing I'm gonna use in front of me when I film, this is just kind of open to use however I need. Since this is a smaller desk, I don't have quite as much desktop room to like put whatever I want up there. So I'm trying to figure out, I might eventually get some kind of like a little cart or something with some drawers, but that also I can set a couple of desk-like items on top of. So for now, I'm just gonna use this until I find something that would fit that area really well. And if you have any cord solutions, holler, because this is amazing, this uh, thing that I have that grounds the cords, but in my old desk that Tyler now has, there was this area underneath that you could literally stick that up under and it would hold all of the cords kind of up above and it was great. So now it's just kind of there. I'm like, even if it was like a little box that went over it, just, I don't know, what are your solutions? I know I could maybe like zip tie things, but the problem is there has to be enough slack for the desk to go up and down. You know what I mean? So I don't know. It's really not that deep though. So for now I've just got lamps on cause it's kind of dark in this room as the sun goes down and eventually I'll have these on furniture. But I do think I'm gonna get maybe a standing floor lamp maybe over here. The light when I turn on in this room is not the brightest thing in the world. <laughs> so really what's left, so really what's left is moving this over here 
and then eventually we'll build the little couch that's gonna go there. I don't think we'll get that done today though. So we're not getting as much done today as we hoped. I think we're gonna have to cut today short a little bit because bringing our two year old has made this a little bit trickier. Same with yesterday to get stuff done because she wants to play with us and so we're trying to like split time. It'll be nice tomorrow when we have someone watching her to like really, really sink our teeth in and get some stuff done. So we're gonna do what we can in the next few hours and then I think go home and have some dinner. You had better believe right now while I'm doing this, I'm listening to this Disneyland uh, CD. It's so good. One of my favorite songs is Married Life. So I was going to have it against the wall like right there. And then I was like, oh, maybe I'll do it this way because I know filming wise, I wanna film from this direction most of the time. But I think doing it on the diagonal there is probably my best bet, right? I feel like that looks nice. I can put a lamp up there, a plant, whatever I want. But I feel like having it kind of diagonally facing from that wall actually looks really nice. So I think I'm going to leave that. This piece of furniture, honestly, was an investment piece I bought a few years ago on Wayfair. And it's where I store all my makeup, as I've said. And I just love it. I, th I just think the wood in it is so beautiful. It's a really heavy piece of furniture. I think they still sell it. Okay, so I'm just now getting everything kind of set up to see. I Like I said, I won't need to film in here for a couple days other than obviously this vlog, but it's just exciting to see like looking at the background there, it looks so much like my old space, which is funny, but, but once we get the couch kind of in this side of the frame there, that's gonna be just interesting. But I do wanna light up my background. I don't typically do that, but just kind of looking at this, I think it might be nice to have an actual photography light on my background to brighten it up a bit. So we shall see what ends up happening. This shows it a little bit better. So there's that obviously, and I just threw everything up there. It's not gonna look like that. Um, I, know, I know you guys are so concerned. Uh, anyway, but that's where the couch will go and I think it'll look really cool. We shall see. Another thing I was kind of laughing about was that I am I just got a new vlog camera and it is incredible and parts of this vlog were filmed on it, but a lot of this has been filmed on my iPhone like right now because it's just easier when everything's kind of moving and I've got my memory cards packed away and this, that, and the other. It was just easier to do it on this. So hopefully the quality has been fine. Honestly, uh, most of my vlogs from the past few years have been on my iPhone never had any issues. Like the quality is insane, but I do love my new vlog camera. So parts of this were filmed on that. Anyway, <laughs> my brain's in a million places, you guys. And I just finished a cup of coffee. I'm like, Jessica, you do not need any more coffee. But I'm like, but maybe though. I'm like, no, Jessica, you won't sleep at all tonight if you do that. Also, I my new planner came in. I ordered one from Plum Planners because a lot of you guys said it was a little bit cheaper. I still think it's kind of pricey, but it's cheaper than Golden Coil. I finished up my Golden Coil one because I only had it go from January to April because I had so many additional pages added to it. I loved this thing, like loved it so dearly. I did a whole video on it, I can link it below, but it is very pricey. And so I was like, let me just try this other one. So you can still customize it. So your agenda pages can look however you want. I like having a whole page for the day, but you can do weekly ones, you can do monthly. And then of course this still has the monthly one in it. So I am literally have used it like one day. So it's still very new to me, but I am curious if you guys have any experience with these, like do you prefer one over the other? I can definitely tell you the quality of the golden coil is higher, but I mean, the reality is you're only using it for a certain amount of time. So does it, you know, at a certain point, it's still just paper and it, you know, I don't know, but I definitely, I really like the pattern I chose for this and you could have that say whatever you want. Okay, something else. I'm not like an essential oils person. I just like like fragrant oils. I just like the way they smell, you know? And I got these from Wishes Candle Company a while ago. This one's all that aqua. I'm not sure what it's supposed to smell like, but it smells really good. My personal favorite right now is the Yacht and Beach scent. If you're a Disney World person, it smells like the Yacht and Beach Club Resorts. It's just such like a fresh, but like calming, almost spa-like scent. And I got this cute little essential oils diffuser at Meyer, my favorite store in the world. But it's got lights, like you can turn it on. It's so cute. Um, oh, you can change it to different colors. Okay. I am digging it and I wish you guys could smell this because it smells so freaking good. This is it, by the way. It was Chesapeake Bay Essential Oil Diffuser, and it's just so pretty. The old one I used to have, I still technically have it, and I maybe I'll put it elsewhere, maybe even in our house. I had it in my office at home, and it was kind of loud. Like, I would have it on, and I'm like, oh, what is that annoying sound? I'm like, oh, it's the essential oil. This one seems to be quieter, which is nice, and this was like maybe 5 or $10 more expensive than that, so I don't know. 
Okay, also, uh, my husband came in and I was like, you have to smell this. And he was like, oh my gosh. I'm like, I know. He was like, do they have other scents? I'm like, yep. So I'm literally on Wish Wishes Candle Company's site ordering more. I'm ordering the one that smells like the Grand Floridian. I have a feeling it's going to smell really similar to this. They have the same notes, but I don't know if it's the exact same. So we're going to try. It's like $5.99 per little bottle. Um, I want to try the California Citrus one that's, I, I am assuming, supposed to smell like the Soren Ride. Um... Big Top Souvenirs, I bought the candle from them and it is so sweet, almost sticky sweet, but I love it. And Big Top Souvenirs, like gift shop, it smells incredible if you've ever been in it. Anyway, so I'm gonna order a couple of those right now real fast. <laughs> okay, maybe never mind because I, Tyler came in and was like, can you find one that smells like the Polynesian and they don't have one. But then I looked into Magic Candle Company and I don't think I've ever ordered from them and they have like 10 million options, almost too many. So I think instead I'm gonna order from this site and try some of this. They have one that smells like the gray stuff. It's delicious. Don't believe me? Ask the dishes. This is a total Taylor Wynn made me buy it, but we wanted to have, to be able to make tea here because we both drink tea usually in the afternoon. So uh, she highly recommends this. It's on Amazon and it is like the sleekest, prettiest thing in the world. And I love that it's got all these different settings for, oh my gosh, it's like touchscreen. I thought they were like buttons. I know that doesn't really matter, but it's just so fancy. But I love that it has the different types of tea. You make coffee, like if you were doing it like a French press or something like that. I think that's amazing. And you can do hold temp. So if you're gonna make like multiple cups of tea in the course of some time, you could leave it there. I think this is the coolest thing and she seems to love it too. So just wanted to give it a shout out because I'm so excited to have it here. All right, we are back to present time. Same day from when I started the vlog. So I'm actually working here like for the first time for real. I'm editing my April favorites and fails video right now. We brought sweet Pinocchio with us today and actually Nala is at my parents' house with Gigi for the day, but I am eating eating some tortilla chips and like I said, editing this video. So getting some stuff done and it is so exciting to be working. But mostly he's just on the lookout for if I accidentally drop a tortilla chip, right Pinoc? Hmm. All right, so current state of affairs, we haven't gotten much farther from the other day. This couch that's in here is a pullout couch. I don't know if I mentioned that in a previous footage. Uh, so <laughs> This is supposed to like fluff out for a certain amount of hours. And uh, Pinocchio says, no, no, I will be on this bed and sweeping. He's been napping for hours while I've been editing this video. Are you a good boy? But I think what I'm gonna try to tackle is getting my makeup back in my drawer system. Honestly, the system I had worked. So I'll probably do it pretty similarly, but I figured I would share that with you guys because I know many of you guys that are watching this probably like makeup. All right, so it's rainy out. So I've got my rain boots and my rain jacket. I'm gonna take Pinocchio on a quick little walk because he needs to go potty. <laughs> So I've got my blush here. I think I kept in this drawer. And I have a feeling even once I get all of this in here that eventually I will adjust it. Um, may or may not film it. And honestly, some of this stuff just got shuffled around. I don't know that I'm gonna get to that today. Got my bronzers and highlighters. One bag down. But these are like my clean unused brushes currently and I usually keep those in the bottom. I recently decluttered these, um, but I didn't film it because honestly it was kind of one of those things that it was like late at night and I couldn't sleep and I just needed to get it done, so I did. I have a couple of like fake eyelashes I never wear, but I kept a few because I'm like, you know, you never know. Special occasion, I don't wanna have to buy them if I know I have them and they're not like gonna go bad. So I just have a couple of those. Extra like velour puffs and like headbands. I don't remember how I had this organized. So these are all my palettes I put in the upper drawer. I am amazed at how intact a lot of this stayed. Here are my concealers. So I'm still missing a bunch of my makeup. Where did I pack it? There's another bag down. But I remember the concealer was in here somewhere in the middle. So now moving on to this other tote I had here that had like half of my desk stuff, half makeup. I found the rest of my eyeshadows. Those are gonna go up here. I found tons <laughs> of like wax melt and a lot of them just had like one left in it so this would be great i can kind of use them up but i never really had one exclusive place where i kept them in there so they would always end up in random corners like in my closet in a drawer somewhere whatever so i'm excited to find a place for them keep them all in one spot and like actually use them up so the ones i have these are all so random I'm glad i didn't buy any disney scents of the wax tarts because i've got plenty all right foundations and setting sprays 
these white containers I have, I've gotten a lot of questions about. I don't think the company's around. It was a small business called Cosmetic Archive and it was everything from that brand is so good. And they were made, I think all the products they made were meant to specifically fit in the white Alex drawers, which I'll show you in a minute, I do still have. But uh, I don't think that company's around anymore, which made me so sad because they were, they're really high quality. And then all of my powders, I've got loose powders and more like pressed powders, washcloths that I use for makeup and swatches and stuff. These are all clean, I think. No, these are all clean except for that one. <laughs> Found my little suede NARS eyeshadow palette. It was floating around in there, so that needs to go. So let me show you kind of what we're working with there. So I'm not really going to be worrying about like fixing all of this right now. I'm just glad to have it out of the bags and into these drawers where I know they live so I can grab them as I film here this week. So that is nice. And then we'll kind of go back through and resettle everything in the future. But I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because honestly, this is gonna be such a work in progress for so long for, well, at least for weeks. And then I'll be making tweaks as the months go along. So let me know if you enjoy this style of vlog. I mean, I already do this style of vlog, but if you want me to chat more about moving stuff and share more of this process with you in future videos, I'd be glad to. Probably won't be like the sole focus of the video because I mean, there's just, so much else going on too but i i like sharing these kinds of pieces and i know some of you guys are interested in it so let me know again thank you so much thrive market for sponsoring a portion of this video if you're interested in checking out thrive market just check the link down in the description box and if you join today you do get 25 percent off your first order and a free gift it is so awesome and you guys you will save so much money we absolutely love it i've already been mowing on the snacks that i brought over today but thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel over the years and i will see you guys in my next one bye